and final match of this first session. So women's singles between Herbing Xiao of China and Tai Su Ying of Chinese Taipei. That's the women's singles draw. We know that the first semi will be NC Yun against Akana Yamaguchi. The winner of our upcoming match will play either Marin or Chen Yufei in the other semi. start favourite form that she's in and also that she has a big lead as you can see on the head-to-head -head. this is their 21st Red. meeting 16-4 it is Red. in Tai Zhu Ying's favour and she's black. won the last six My right. most and recently in January at the uh, Indian Open in the quarter-final 21-16 sorry 21-12 21-12 it was a 36 minute very one-sided match so Herbin Jam will be trying to erase that from her memory and put up a performance that I mean she, we know she's capable of better than that she's a top class player ranked six in the world you don't get to that kind of elevated status without being exceptional has been one place higher that was at the back end of 2022 twice a world championship bronze medalist five world tour titles but she's never won a super 1000 which of course this one is only made two finals in the last two years that might be a little bit of a concern for the 26 year old and she lost both of those to NC Yuna, obviously there is no disgrace in that Ended so far this week. Look at that. Just an hour and seven minutes for those two first, ma first two matches against uh, Jo Jin Wei and Michelle Lee. So, what about Tai Zhu Ying? 29 years of age, three in the world. Of course, she has been number one and she was number one for a long, long time. Effectively, four years she spent more than four years actually at number one Olympic silver medal in Tokyo where she uh, lost in Chen Yufe, to Chen Yufei in the final on a world championship silver and a bronze actually and 17 world tour titles she won this one the All England back in 2020 on the world tour finals in December for the second time and also took gold at the India Open which is a super 750 uh, this year in January so Ready to that's play. why we say Ty is a favorite that's how she has got to this quarter-final beaten two very decent players pretty easily truth to tell no question Chris that Ty's Eagle start favorite here and Herbing Xiao with a poor head-to-head -head record needs to make a solid start you feel yeah I'd definitely say um, Ty Su Ying is the informed player um, and it's, it's a big ask to her, Herbin Zhao, but it is possible. You know, she's a phenomenal player, ranked six in the world, and the big problem that Herbin Zhao is having at the moment is she's making consistently quarterfinals or semifinals, but it's so hard for her to break through, often losing in the quarterfinal to one of the, the top four at the moment. Could this be the match where that changes? Play. What, what a 
what a start to the match. Cross court net cord. Point by point, Herbie Zhao. Forget about the head to head, forget about the fact that she's playing one of the best players in the sports history. an exhibition shot. Yeah, and this is the thing. Tyson Ying, she makes Bamanen look too easy almost. Like there. She is such a unique player. A lot of the things she can do, no one else can do. But this has been a really positive, strong start from Herving Zhao. Really come out here to prove a point. Chance trying to take the game to Tai Su Ying. Yeah, I think you have to if you give Tai Su Ying too much time on the shuttle or you know, even anything, if you give her anything, she can kind of create magic from nothing. Unsighted. Unsighted line judge, so we're gonna go to Hawkeye, it's not an official review. Let's see. I think Herbig Jell's reaction suggested that she thinks she's made it.
almost like two prize fighters squaring up at the net there. And this is what I mean. That's incredible. Herb and Child does so well to get that back. And this is it for Tysi Ying, you know, she, she can do some incredible... That's a lovely turn and a net cord off it. And then a good calm brush. She is in a position where she is under a bit of pressure from one of her teammates. And you, just because when you look at the actual qualifying list for Paris, she's only at the moment around 2,000 points ahead. And you also made the quarterfinal here, so that gap will have actually closed because her lowest points are quite a bit lower than a quarterfinal here. It really is a big game. Her Bing Zhao this. Sometimes these matches as well when they are. It's not that she has to win, but if she could win, it would just open up that gap between her and her teammate to give her that second spot. Oh. Pressure is such a strange thing in sport. Something we put on ourselves as players. She's doing great at the moment in the way that she's she is taking the match on. She's trying to be the proactive one. She's trying to take charge. Moving the shuttle round well, getting Tai Su Ying out of position. Not really giving her any opportunity at the moment to show her creativity and skill. Perfect. Four centimetre perfect. Brilliant again from Herbin Jam. You could see she read that. She read that relift from Tai to Yen because she just waited back after she played that drop shot and it came exactly to her. She had all the time in the world. with a two-point lead at the mid-game break. Just the start she would have
She seems in very determined mood, the Chinese. Yeah, it's really impressive the way that she's come out. When you look at the last two performances against each other, it's been quite one-sided, both of which were this year. In favor of Tai Su Ying. They played in Malaysian Open. Tai Su Ying won 16 and 15, 36 minutes, and then India Open 12 and 12 in 37 minutes. make uh, a good living this time of year, don't they, just before the Olympics? So many players, tape everywhere. This is the thing, yeah, a lot of players will be carrying some niggles and a lot of fatigue from the amount of tournaments they've played over the last 12 months. Making Tai Su Ying move to full distance, but the block, the quality of it was so good. Tight that is to the net, you can see the distance. Tai Su Ying's had to travel, steps into the block, that's the thing. The earlier you take the block, the less time your opponent has. It's much easier said than done. This is quite incredible from Herbie Zhao. Way that she's playing at the moment. At the moment, Tai Su Ying just a fraction off, but I would say full credit to Herbing Zhao because the way she's played, she's made life so difficult for Tai Su Ying, and Tai Su Ying hasn't gone into a rhythm. Which is all at sea at the moment, Tai Su Ying. Just looking back, the last time that Her Bing Xiao beat Tai Su Ying, you have to go back about a year and a half, a bit more than that, actually. It's a group match at the uh, World Tour Finals, so sorry, so just under a year and a half, but still. He's lost the last six, remember. The 
this is something that we haven't seen a lot of. Um, you know, Tai Sui taking control of the match and getting the opportunity. We've just seen Herwing Zhao controlling the game so far, and this is why we've just seen a few mistakes from Tai Su Ying, just because she hasn't been given that time on the shuttle, that those opportunities. Herwin Zhao has caught everyone off guard with the way that she's played so far. Well, only 14 minutes on court, and Herbin Zhao on the verge here of taking this opening game and putting the number three seed under serious pressure. Brilliant block from Tai Ying. It's only now that she's looking like she's coming into controlling the game a little bit more. But we're right at the end of the first game. So five match points for the world number six. And that rally C, Tai Ying, that's where the gap is, you can see. Herbing Zhao can even get that, she's really off balance, but Tai Ying just misses it. This is kind of the story of the first game. Very strong start from Herbing Zhao. Tai Ying just struggling to get her feeling and forcing a few opportunities. Well, that was about as professional and as proficient as you can get from her being shout against a top, top opponent. She's taken the first game, but not too many expected that. 21-16, and she has given the world number three, Tai Zhu Ying, some serious depth of thought here.
Well, it'd be fascinating to see the reaction from Taizu Yin in the second game, having lost the first. important Herving Jao she's got to try and keep the pressure on something she did so well in the first or obviously played to an incredibly high level she made life so difficult for Tai Su Ying can't allow Tai Su Ying to get that freedom that confidence to flow Just what Tai Zhu Ying wanted, a couple of cheap errors from her opponent, and she's off to a flyer in game two. We might have just had the medic called on here. A couple of times, she's just kind of looked a little concerningly. Could it have been from that slip in the first game? Yeah, I think that's what she's indicating. That was in the first game, and you could see a wince. This is the thing you can see a heel, it just slides, and it, I mean, it looks horrible, but you never know exactly what someone's done. Has it jarred something? Has it overstretched something? You can see she's at full stretch. Magic spray, I, di I diagnose, and then prescribe magic spray. She has all no nils. Well, let's hope she's OK. As uh, Chris was saying, she's in a bit of a fight to get to the Olympics in Paris. She's probably going to just see how it feels for the next few points. Certainly won't want to... Draw, Point started. They so, so. Yin just pointed to someone else with a flash, and I think something they've done so well in China. They almost have a laser that they track on people, and if anyone has the flash show and they kind of shine it at them to alert them, you've got your flash on, turn it off quickly. It's the amount of people with their flash on today has been a lot so far. And no one's getting that next shot back. The spin, how tight it was, it all stemmed from how early Tai Su Ying takes it. Reads where it's going. Actually, slightly lower than I thought. It's an even better shot.
Well, <laughs> placement of that. Well, she's a she's uh, challenging here. It's a late call. It's well, not well long. second game. Eight, eight. Irving Zhao's not controlling the game now, now she's the one chasing. Looks a fraction off the pace. Is that to do with the calf? Is it to do with doubt? See then on the flip of that, Tyson Ying's definitely raised her level a lot less unforced errors. I know we've had a few out the back, but a lot more aggressive, more attacking. We're watching her very carefully since that little injury break. It doesn't appear as though she's in any pain. And the movement seems to be pretty unrestricted. It's exactly the right shot. Just misses. So the big gap was. Tyson Ying had fully committed to the forehand. Kind of the forehand net as well. It's an important bit now in this second game. Can Ho Bing Zhao manage to creep her way back in? two shots you're aware of those two when a player has like Tyson Ying eight different variations that she has it's so hard to predict what she's going to do so Tyson Ying goes to the mid game break with a big lead and a big chance of extending this match to a deciding game Tyson Ying just concerned that there's someone permanently with a flash. <laughs> it's the Tyson Ying fan club in the corner. Well, the fist pump tells you that her big jail certainly hasn't given up this game, even though she's. Some five points adrift.
perfection. This is the difficult thing when Tyson gets in her flow, gets in her rhythm. So hard to disrupt that. Game has improved dramatically in the second game. I do think slightly. Herbing Jow's allowed that by being a little bit passive and reactive rather than proactive. Irving Jow, she did so well to stay in that. See what Hawkeye says. Stuff on the line. So Herbing Jam out of challenges now in this uh, second game, in which Taizu Ying has taken control. Looks to be heading inexorably towards a decider. 14-8. That's how early Hoving Zhao took that lift. She made life difficult for Tai Su Ying. Cross court backhand before that with the net. Tyson reads it. That's an incredible shot. So much spin on that net from Tyson Ying. She's out of challenges. 16, 10. And just moving a little gingerly again, Herbin Xiao. Oh, 
think that was wide. recent form of Tai Su Ying. It's been so impressive. Take out the two tournaments she was injured for, really, where she pulled out China Masters and Japan Masters. She's been so, so consistent, only really losing to Anse Young. Last week, obviously, having those match points. And it's looking a bigger and bigger task now for having Jiao. Great turn. Having Jao there, she kind of starts to chase on the diagonal where she thinks it's going. It's the last second turn. So just a couple of points away now, the world number three from tying up this match. Setting us up for what could be an intriguing decider, assuming that Hoping Jail's potential injury doesn't get any worse. She's got a few points to play with here. Nice. Ying. Well, Tasi Ying just switched off for a fraction here. She makes sure she concentrates and gets back on track. Really, really good rally from Herving Zhao. Let she played before the final one. Good attack, comes in, takes it so early. Good skill as well. Very deceptive. Nice little hold. The thing you've got to get as early as you can on the net, get the advantage. Well, she'll start to be getting uh, mildly concerned, I reckon. Well, she should have had this game wrapped up. A few minutes ago, meanwhile, Hobby Jow's perspicacity has kept her involved. Four points down, wins the next two, it'll be interesting. Let's <laughs> see the frustration which we didn't quite clear the net. Service over, 20, game point, 15. So, five game points. To level the match. Tai Su Ying challenges called out. Well, she may as well ask Korkai to check just in case it's clipped the line. Some way away from it, though. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. I think we're right at the end of the game. You've still got two challenges left. You can take a bit of a risk, but that was... Look some way out. 
still four game points. second game and we are going to have a decider here just felt in the last few points in particular that I think she just appeared as though she was uh, struggling a bit with that leg issue however she's going to stick it out and it's one game up or not that's a fabulous winner yeah and this is what having Zhao did so well in the first game for me she read the game so well here holds back she knows where it's going because of that she can take it early Tai Seung's in trouble big gap really well played by having Zhao see a, a lot of matches 20 in total which is a lot now having Zhao has a, a negative head-to-head -head considerably but the big thing is she has played her opponent a lot which does give her an advantage of you know knowing her game better than some others and this is what we are seeing she's reading quite well what Tai Si Ying's doing
brilliant from Herbing Zhao. Incredible turn. She has had quite a lot of success with that forehand cross court block. Where the big gap is, but you can see a full stretch. The quality of the shot, you can see how far in front of the service line that is. but it makes it so hard for Tai Su Ying to be able to control that. What a start to the third game. Herving Zhao. Too many would have predicted this scoreline. Seven love. Herbing Chow in the decider. She's still limping a little bit, but her movement doesn't appear to be too badly restricted. Once again, Tai Zhu Yin in, well, I was going to say two minds, in about four minds there. Look at that scoreline. This is the thing for me, it was so important the way that. Herbing Zhao ended that second game. She was 19-10 down, pulls it all the way back to 15, which doesn't seem important, but it does because of the momentum, the shift. This is why, one of the reasons why she started this game so well. Well, she's on the board, Tai Zhu Yin. See the body language there, Tai Su Ying. Pure frustration, she knows that's a cheap mistake, that's a gift. She can't give any of those with the deficit that she has. Oh, 
Well, he just saw there as Herbie Joe came towards the net. It was a brilliant shot, but the limp just was exaggerated significantly. Really hope she's not doing it any damage. Just watch her in here. She comes in, and there she feels it, can see it. why she wouldn't want to retire I mean it's full commitment that kind of dive she's 10-4 up in the decider against Tai Zhu Ying and she's conscious that she's not definitely going to be at the Olympics this would be massive if she could get herself into the semi but question of going through the pain barrier a little bit in sport, Chris, you've got to get her moving around, Interval, haven't you, if you're Tyson in. Well, this is the thing, but, I mean, she's limping when she's walking, but she's moving, still OK. It could be a case of it's a slight tweak, as in um, almost like a very light pull. You know, she's grimacing a lot. So there's obviously damage that she's done now. Adrenaline in the rally kicks in. Um, you can't really sound silly, but you're feeling more than, there's no kind of adrenaline as such as when you're walking slowly. The big thing for her, if it is a minor pull, yes, it's going to hamper her performance here, but the big thing is, hopefully, it wouldn't take long to recover. If she could win this match, it would be massive, absolutely massive, for her trying to secure that second Chinese spot in the Olympics for the ladies' singles. Well, it's a big lead, 11-4. They've changed ends. And this could be a, a massive seven or eight minutes coming up for her, Bing Chow. Don't think too many gave her too much of a chance in this match. And even hurting and limping, she's dominating the decider. Work for Tai Zhu Ying to do. And 11 4 down. 10-4 
this is the thing now for her being Zhao. So hard for her to win the point. She hasn't got that same speed, that push off. So she's almost trying to win just with finesse or skill, but that's such a big ask. Because she's not, you can see how late she's taking that. She's not early on anything. So the first four points after the mid-game break have all gone to Tai Zhu Ying. This is the thing, Tai Su Ying went eight love down in this final game. Eight love to 11-9. And all the impetus and all the momentum is now with the world number three. And you can see it's hurting her a bit more. Urban Chow. Since the change of ends, Tai Su Ying's done everything perfect. Played the rallies as she should, worked them. Taken no risks. Called on the doctor again. Yeah. I really don't see the value in her carrying on now. Honestly, don't. I know it's like she'll want to play. She's played so well. But the way we've uh, watched the last five minutes, Tosa yeah. Yig's taking control now, and it's really hurting her. The bigger thing is to not do any damage, serious damage. Olympics are in. Just a few months' time. Partial tear there. I think you carry on your wrist tearing completely. Yeah, you probably heard that. Partial tear, says the doc. And if you carry on, you risk aggravating it. This is the thing. She's got to think about the long term thing. If she has actually partially torn her Achilles tendon, I mean, we're talking a serious injury there. Well, we're talking Miss the Olympics if she really tears it badly, no question. Yeah. And this is where carrying on, I, I agree with you. I, I don't think it's a sensible thing if it's that serious. This is the thing, if the severity of the, if the injury is as bad as the, the medic has identified, I think the player's got to take responsibility or have a discussion, a brief discussion with the coach to try and get advice from them, because the player never wants to stop. He still believes, but if she was to tear her Achilles, this is a major, major, major injury. It's long, although Tai Zhu Ying wants Hawkeye to check. Tai Zhu Ying challenges to ball out. I would say if the injury is as serious as the, the medic believes, I have no idea how Herbing Zhao is managing to put in the performance this year. Sometimes, though, you do need someone to guide you in the correct path. As a player, you never want to stop. Well, that's just fractionally past the line. Thought for a minute, I was going to show it was clipping, that would have, well, literally added insult to injury for her being jailed, but it was long. First point, she's won after the mid-game break. It ends a run of six consecutive points for Tai Zhu Yin.
It's hard to watch this. It really is. And this is the thing, you know, having Joshi played incredible in this match, there's no doubt about it, no one can take that away from her. But I'm just on the slightly concerned side that she could make it worse and, you know, the inevitable is only going to get worse in this match. You know, there's 0% chance it's going to improve and I know she wants to win. But I'm just nervous that she could make it even a little bit worse or a lot worse and ruin some tournaments down the line for herself. side of the spectrum is obviously Tyson Ying. Sometimes as a player in her position, you can lose a little bit of focus. You can think too much about your opponent. And she's doing so well, you know, she's a complete professional. She's doing so well to just focus on herself and play the right strategy and do what she needs to do to win, take advantage in this final third game. Yeah, it would be time to show sympathy when you shake your opponent's hand. But at the moment, it's just full focus on reaching 21 before she does. She just, I mean, clearly, this is hurting. And she wants Hawkeye to check this as well. I mean, you give Herbing Xiao full marks of bravery, but. Just wonder if this is a sensible course of action with Paris looming. I mean, the doctor may, he may or may, may not be right, but why take the chance? What guy says? And the right. Yeah, and it, it, is, it is such a difficult one because it's been evident since the chain of, change of ends where Tai Ying has sort of calmed herself down and controlled the game that it's proving so tough for Herbing Jao because she's kind of half a step off the pace and she's really struggling to cause any damage to her opponent. Wide. And this is the thing for Herbing Jao, she knows she can't, you know, she can't play the long rallies because she's in pain, she's struggling, so she's having to force it at times and go for something that she wouldn't normally go for. See there, she couldn't even push off to get that one. And if you think, you know, we had eight love. We also had 11, four. Since then, it's been a big, big turnaround. 13 of the last 14 points. Taizu Ying has won. Just again, you salute the courage of the woman. I mean, courage and uh, 13, toughness. He's like a 20 out of 10. She's still fighting. Still believing. Couldn't even celebrate on two on two legs. She had to literally lift one leg off the ground. It, it's it is very very tough to watch Herbing Zhao here down by four. and you can see that has done some damage. That hurts. Yeah, and I'd say it's, it's one of those things where you, you see some players and uh, they make a challenge and they're adamant that it's in when it's out and they get it wrong. And it's kind of one of these situations, I think, having Jao seeing what she wants to see rather than, unfortunately, the bigger picture. Well, sometimes in the heat of battle, I thought certainly get clouded. That's a little wild from Tai Zhu Ying. I have to say, though, it has been incredible concentration and discipline from Tai Su Ying. She's barely put a foot wrong. We've seen, I think, three unforced errors. Yeah, just kept the shuttle in play and kept Herbing Zhao moving. That was long. I mean, the other thing is, even if Herbing Zhao wins, 
which is very unlikely. Surely she can't play tomorrow. I would be very surprised, but I think for her, if she could manage to kind of do the impossible and win this, it would just be the points would be so big to give her that advantage for that second spot, qualifying for Paris. Well, she middled that. 16. Again, you 18. could see a wince as she played it and after she played it. All she cares about is the fact that she won the point. First time for a while there's been any pressure on Tai Zhu Ying. Ding Xiao back to within two. And she'll kill that as well. to be doing the impossible right now. Well, they say there's nothing as dangerous as a cornered tiger, but, I mean, Herbie Zhao's cornered tiger on a cliff edge here, and somehow she's back within a point. Oh. That's right. What's going on, Chris? And this is it now, you know, the pressure's building. You can hear the crowd. It's... Is such a unique situation here. Change of momentum, swing of the match. Urban Jow has belief now. Tai Su Ying just tensing up slightly. Oh, and that was very nervy, wasn't it? That was a real nervy one. And this is the thing, Tai Su Ying for kind of 13, possibly out of 15 points, have been exceptional with her consistency, her shot selection, her calmness, and now, all of a sudden, everything's changing. Was it wide? It was... No, it was in. And that was, I think, the outside edge of the line here. Service over. 19. All. And Herbing Jow, she leaves that. Well, it's pretty much flush on the line. Maybe the middle of the line. Yeah. How big a point is this? That was going out. playing that shot on the stretch like that but such is the state of the game she's kind of given herself no choice not much point continuing if you're not going to do it it's really rocked her this has been one of the most unique final games of a match i think i've ever witnessed yeah and it's not over yet match point but only one match point for tai Zhu Ying. rally finish of a shuttle landing on the line and then that rally also finishes with the shuttle landing on the line absolute perfection a full stretch you can see there Tai Su Ying well insane drama here <laughs> she's still in there fighting even if she's hurting you can see suffering Herving Zhao just off camera she's limping around the court They might have to carry her off it, you know. Win, lose or draw. She doesn't need long rallies at this point, that's for sure. It's the thing, she can't afford a long rally. What are we going to see here? The tension. 20 all in the final game. Oh, that's 
well wide. And here's a second opportunity for Tai Zhu Ying to finally put Herbing Zhao out of her misery. So, so and that was a tough way for Herbing Zhao to lose that point. That net cord really distorted the direction of the shuttle. Well, that's one of the bravest performances you will ever see, not just in badminton, but in sport. And I really hope she hasn't, got up she, she hasn't suffered too bad, because that does not look good at all. Oh, no. Oh, no. She pushed this too far. Well, oh, it's a no. lovely moment at the end. That's when you have the sympathy, and let's just hope. She can barely walk, it's a struggle. She's managed a half smile and a handshake yes, for the umpire. It's almost a smile and tears. I have no idea how she finished that match. She is in so much pain. Well, it's going to be a match, a quarter-final, that will, will be remembered for the loser more than for the winner. Tai Zhu Yin goes on to the semis tomorrow. As for her being well, we'll wait on the medical report. But you rarely see as much courage as that in elite sport. It was sensational. Whether she was wise to do it is another matter entirely. But you just have to admire the fighting spirit of the Chinese. However, the record books will show that Tai Zhu Yin won in three games, 22-20. In the third, the match that lasted an hour and a quarter. Looked like it was going to finish well before then in the end. Maybe a coach would carry a bag for her, but there we are. This is the insane final point. Herbin Zhao was in so much trouble. That dive there, and I don't know how she got up. The massive dive at the end. No way, no way she could recover from that. She gave absolutely everything in that match. Well, the All England never fails to provide drama, does it? Absolutely astonishing conclusion to that women's singles. Well, that's far from the end of the uh, coverage for today. We start again at five o'clock local time. That's in just over two hours. That is what uh, is on the agenda, and Jill, Jill Clark and Steve Pedersen will guide you through from 5 p.m. local time. Well, that's about all we have time for for now from Birmingham. But as I say, we're back in just over two hours. And if they can match the drama we've seen here in our first session, then they will be doing pretty well. Hope you've enjoyed it. For me, Trevor Harris, Chris Langridge, and our whole outside broadcast team here in England's Second City. We'll see you in a couple of hours for now. It's goodbye.